the extended definition of the transition function goes like this the basis is from any state q upon the input null string we remain either in the same state or in any one of the states that we can reach using the epsilon closure so the delta cap of q comma epsilon will be e closure of q the induction is let w be a string which can be written as x a where x is a string and a is the last symbol of w and a belongs to epsilon that means that a is not a null string then we can compute the extended transition from state q upon w okay so this is not x we have to have w here uh, so we'll consider that uh, the transition from q upon the string x be some set of states p1 to pk then from x we have to accept after accepting x we have to accept ea so we will have the transition from each of the pi which is this set and a and find the union of all of them and let it be r1 to rm now we have to find the e closure of each of these states and make a union to find the transition from the state q and upon accepting the input w that is what is given in this state in this step that is we have to find the e closure of each of these r which is set of states and make a union of all of them now let's try and find the delta cap of 3.5 starting from the starting state q0 so from q0 using the basis upon the null string where can be he can be either at q0 or using this epsilon transition i can be at q1 so the epsilon closure of q0 will include q0 q1 now delta cap of 3 that is we are concatenating null string with 3 now we have epsilon closure of the delta the transition from q0 comma 3 union delta of q1 comma 3 we have to find the transition these two transition make a union and to the result of this we have to apply the e closure so from q0 upon the digit we don't have any uh, input on the digit so this transition is null union from q1 if I get a digit either I can stay at q1 or we can move to q3 so we will have uh, q1 q3 we have to make a union of them so we will have q1 q3 to this we have to apply the e closure so e closure of q1 will be q1 using the basis and there is no epsilon transition from q1 so the epsilon closure of q1 is q1 union we have to compute the epsilon closure of q3 and using the basis we'll have q3 and there is no transition upon the null string so we'll have q1 q3 and we have delta cap of q0 comma 3 followed by the decimal point dot which is e closure of from q1 upon um, the decimal point where do we go union the delta of q3 comma dot and the result to, for the result of this union we have to apply the e closure which will be from q1 if we get a decimal point we go to q4 okay so that is this one union and from q3 if we get a decimal point we go to q2 and to this we have to apply the e closure so when we apply the e closure 
at q4 we get q4 and e closure of q2 is q2 so we the result of this is q2 q4 and finally delta cap of q0 comma 3.5 will be from q2 if i get a symbol which is a decimal number where do we go union from q4 if we get a decimal digit where do we go and to the result of this we will apply the e closure so from q2 if we get a digit we go back to q2 so this is this one union from q4 if we get a digit we go to q2 so we have to find the epsilon closure of q2 which is q2 itself so that is the uh, result of when we start from q0 and accept the input string 3.5 will be ending at q2